Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Katie Price has revealed she's flying back to Turkey again, in three months, to change her veneers, despite failing to turn up to her bankruptcy hearing last month. The former glamour model, 46, recently went under the knife in Istanbul for her sixth facelift, which cost £10,000. As well as cosmetic surgery, Katie and her boyfriend JJ Slater visited the dentist multiple times on their trip. But it appears she's still not quite happy with her tweakments as she is heading back a second time. In an Instagram video, she said, Hi everyone, here I am at Dentica International. Now we all know I love getting my teeth done. Today I'm having a proper clean, seeing the hygienist and then I'm coming back in three months to have a root canal. And where I've had some gum receding, they're going to change these veneers for me. JJ's also been here and had a full set of veneers done, they look amazing. And Harvey is also seeing the hygienist and my friend is having that composite bonding done right now. They're so easy, quick, sufficient, professional and I love it. Katie confirmed she was traveling to Turkey for facial surgery last week, to be filmed for a new documentary, after failing to attend a recent bankruptcy hearing. The Mama 5 was absent at a scheduled £760,000 bankruptcy court hearing, having flown overseas for her latest cosmetic procedure. A warrant has since been issued, with Katie admitting she's doing the best she can to rectify her financial issues after receiving very clear warnings that she needed to attend court. Katie is understood to have had the facelift at the Trio Clinic in Istanbul, with work being carried out on her eyes and under her chin. She recently dismissed recent claims that she has traveled to Turkey after being turned down by other cosmetic surgeons. She said, I'm filming my new documentary. The reason I've chose the Trio Clinic is because I've had friends who have had surgery there and in my opinion they are the best for what I want doing. I can't wait, they're amazing, and they're thorough here. Katie shared a statement on her Instagram account saying she is aware of the severity of her financial situation. She wrote, Whilst I'm currently aware of the severity of my current personal financial situation with my ongoing bankruptcy, I am today shocked that whilst away working for a documentary on corrective surgeries that I should find myself yet again headline news. The media in my opinion once again are trying to cause continued humiliation to myself and family. There are far greater and more pressing issues going on around the world that are more important and I'm sure most people are bored reading stories that are constantly misrepresented. I have I am continuing to to cooperate with the relevant people on matters to the best of my ability which will be addressed after my return from work. Despite consistent stories trying to humiliate me on my personal misfortunes, I am neither embarrassed or ashamed. I own my situation and I am trying my best to work my out out of it and put matters right. Katie added that she is currently going through challenging times and is doing the best I can for the sake of her family. She wrote, I have to continue in my work in order to satisfy these bankruptcy orders which is all I am trying to do right now. I am however not running from matters and will continue to take matters with great seriousness. I am doing the best I can to rectify things during extremely challenging times. Once again I would like to highlight there are far greater and more newsworthy stories. I will continue to work on my mental health disorders for the sake of myself and my family and do the best I can. In May, Katie claimed on her own podcast that she has been signed off from appearing in court for her mental health after receiving backlash for missing her last bankruptcy hearing to go on holiday to Cyprus. She had been due to give evidence about her finances at the high court in May, but at the start of the hearing, lawyers said that she had told them at the last minute she couldn't attend due to health issues. A judge described this excuse as scanty. Katie then jetted off on holiday to AE in Napa with her MAFS star boyfriend JJ Slater, facing public backlash after being spotted sunbathing together by the pool. Taking to her podcast, The Katie Price Show, K.